Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Today's recipe is a winner. My husband absolutely adores these and I'm sure you do too. If you've got two key ingredients available at home, which is plain flour and lamb mint, you're gonna have the most amazing restaurant style Gimanans at home. Now, before I run through the ingredients with you on how to make these absolutely gorgeous, moist, delicious tasting naans, please be sure to hit that subscribe button to support this channel and turn your bell notifications on for all things cooking. So let's start. The ingredients you're going to need, first of all, to make the dough is 500 grams of plain flour. You need two tablespoons of oil here, and I've got half a cup of yogurt. I'm using Greek yogurt, but you can use natural yogurt if you wish. And I have one teaspoon of nigella seeds, which are also known as gulanji. I've got half a teaspoon of salt and baking powder, and I've got one fourth of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and we also need lukewarm water and for the kima mix I've got here 500 grams of lamb mince here this has got 20% fat you don't want it any more fattier than the 20% mark and I have the following spices I've got one teaspoon of salt degi mix which is the Kashmiri chili powder garam masala whole cumin seeds which I've just coarsely ground up and I've got half a teaspoon of regular chili powder and turmeric powder here. I've got here three cloves of garlic, which I've minced. Now, this is quite garlicky. I like the flavor of garlic in my kima naan. If you wish to reduce that, you can reduce it down to two or even less as per your personal preference. I've got here one whole green chili, which I've finely minced. I've left the seeds in because I like the heat. I've also got fresh coriander and I've got salted butter to garnish at the end. So let's start cooking. Right, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our dough and just set that aside. So into the flour, we're gonna add our dry ingredients and two tablespoons of oil. One and two. And then the yogurt. And just give that a mix before you actually start adding the water in to bring it all together. Perfect. Just take that off. And now we're going to add the water in and we're going to do this slowly and then just a little bit in and just bring the dough together because we're looking for a dough which is not too soft and not too hard. So slightly in between. So a little bit more water. So there we have it guys. The dough has come together really nicely and you can see that the, the bowl is um, pretty much clean. And all we're going to do now is just flip it over like that and take some cling film and just pop that over and just set that aside for 30 minutes. And in the meantime, we'll move on to the next stage of the recipe. Right, to prepare our kima, all I'm gonna do is just add my kima straight in to a bowl and then add all the dry spices in first of all, like that. The minced garlic goes in as well and the diced green chilies. And just mix that really well. Just combine all those ingredients together. There we are. And just cover that with cling film and just set that aside for 30 minutes as well, just for the, um, the masala that we've just added in to penetrate that meat. And then I'll show you how to make your kima naans. Right, okay guys, coming back to the door, it's had half an hour of resting time. And all I'm gonna do now is just give it one more final knead. Like that, so it's nice and soft and springy, so you can see that. And I've got here my kima, and all I've done is I've just divided it into five little um, portions here, which weigh 100 grams, because my kima weighed 500, so each portion of kima weighs 100 grams, just to make it easy for myself, because I'm making five nuns. And I've also got my butter, which I've just melted in the microwave for about 20 seconds. And I've got my coriander to hand as well. So let's start making the kima nans. So first of all, we just want to lightly dust the surface and take our dough like that. And because we're making five nans, we need to get five portions of dough. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roughly cut out five portions. Like so. 
and put the rest of them back in and just work with one and then what you want to do is you want to form it into um, a door ball just like that and we're just going to roll it out into a circle so just like a chapati right okay so once you've rolled out your uh, door ball into the shape of a chapati we're going to take one piece of um, mint here that we've got and we're just going to bring the edges up like that so we cover that completely so just bring all the edges up like that into the middle and we're going to bring them into the middle and we're going to pinch them like that so it kind of secures it so pinch and just turn and then do that and then flatten it down and then just again roll it out into the shape of a chapati turn it over add a little bit of flour on top as well just to stop it from sticking like that and it's up to you whatever size you want to make this again that's your personal preference there we are and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some butter and I'm just going to add that straight on like that and then take a little bit of coriander as well and just pop that on and just press that down and just with the rolling pin just roll that on like that so it just kind of secures it into the naan and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my camera over to show you how to cook this so I've got my pan on the heat and my hob setting is on a six which is a medium heat setting and if you touch the pan it should be hot to the touch so I've picked up my naan and I'm going to place it just like that into my pan and you want the um, the coriander side up first of all right so we're going to cook this now for about four to five minutes on one side and the color on top will change slightly which will indicate that it needs flipping so I'll see you guys back in about four to five minutes time once this is ready and we'll we'll flip it over right okay so it's been about five minutes that the uh, naan has been cooking away and you can see that the color has started to change around here and I've checked underneath and it's looking really good so we can now just flip that over and let the other side cook so I'll see you guys back around five minutes time again once this is done right okay so it's been five minutes that it's been cooking on the other side and we're just going to flip it over now to show you and that looks absolutely beautiful so all we need to do now is just close our hob take our melted butter and just apply some of that over just like that absolutely wonderful just look at that there you have it guys your kima naan is all ready and i'm going to continue making the rest of them and i'll show you how they look once they're done right okay everyone i have got my kima naans already here the aroma oh i can't even express to you how it is i'm going to tuck into this now and tell you guys exactly how they are but before i do that i'm just going to show you on camera just how wonderful they are just look at that and absolutely gorgeous look at that filled with kima whoa so now time to try these whoa mmm that is delicious so moist so juicy that mince is in there mildly spiced honestly the spice is just perfect absolutely wonderful guys be sure to try the recipe out honestly beats any restaurant style naan out there so leaving you with this one i hope you've enjoyed it if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and i'll catch you soon with another new one till then take care and happy eating